welcome to this tutorial on timecode generator. We created a total new version that gives you a lot of new features. So let's go over it. So this is your default view. It's really simple. We did some UI changes um, and you see the clocks here. So this is the hours, minutes, seconds and frames. Setting an offset is easy. You can just type in whatever you want and that sets the offset. Pushing play will play the time code and this allows you to stop. So let's go over some of the features and settings through the settings menu. So the first setting you see is the actual frame rate we're sending out. So we do anything from uh, 30, um, uh, 30 FPS to 25 and 24. Then you get three options to either send uh, LTC timecode over audio, uh, send timecode over MIDI to a MIDI device and send timecode over ArtNet. So this is great for light settings and light consoles. The next feature allows us to set the skip time. So as you saw in the main view, there are those skip buttons which allow us to seek forward and backward and here we can uh, set the time to do so so the interval the next one are the artnet settings so this is the ip and it defaults to a broadcast and this is the default artnet port there's not really a reason why you should change this but maybe in special cases you do want to change it the next feature is the MIDI output device. So here we can select which port we use for the MIDI timecode. And then there's the audio setup. So here we can set a gain on the audio, so on the timecode, uh, minus 6 dB is preferred. And here you can select your output device and uh, you can also make a channel mapping. So if you go to your default, uh, in this case, uh, my speakers, we have a left and right channel and we can set which of these channels should receive timecode. Then we have a super cool feature that enables the Stream Deck. So if you have a Stream Deck laying around, uh, go ahead and plug it in because it will give you all the controls plus the clocks on the external device, which is pretty cool. Um, so that's that. This lock allows you to lock the interface. So in case you're running a show or something uh, important, you're able to lock the controls and uh, make sure that timecode won't be interrupted. And finally, we have the wall clock feature. And this allows you to send out timecode um, that is aligned with your clock of your computer. So whenever you need to send the current time, just use this clock and it will send time code. A lot of these features and other features are persistent. So whenever you close the app uh, and reopen it, in, in this case, when it's running on a wall clock feature, uh, it will continue to run. So um, you can make an automated setup having these uh, features. Well, and that's it for now. We have an iPad version, uh, iPhone version, we have an Android version, Windows, Mac. So we have all the kinds of flavors you need. And uh, keep an eye out because we also have uh, one that plays audio along, which is called Timecode Player. So maybe you're more interested in that, adding timecode to uh, audio track. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions in, in the comments and thanks for watching.